you can see here the micrometer we used in class. Before I begin to measure anything, I will make sure it's set to zero. Now you can see that it shows zero here, but to make sure, I'll turn that, you can hear that ratchet? That indicates that it is in fact set properly to zero. Now, if I want to measure something, say, the width of this pen. Take the micrometer, gripping it in such a way that I can move the dial while still reading things in one hand. So I'm going to open this. It may take a moment. To the width of the pen. Then, snug it up. And now I can take my reading. I'll zoom so you can see what I'm looking at. So, along this scale, we've got tenths of an inch. There's point 0.1, there's point 0.2. Now, in the smaller gradations, you can see that there's a point 0.25, or point 0.025, rather, it's 25 one thousandths. 0 0.050, and I can also see the 0 0.075. So I've got 75 one thousandths of an inch to go with my 0.2. So, that was 0 0.2 inches to reflect the 0 0.2. Then we got the 0 0.075 on top of that. So that is 0 0.075. And then we read along this scale. You can see 0 0.013, 0 0.014, 0 0.015, that's 15 one thousandths of an inch that we have to add on, and that's hitting the line exactly, which is kind of fortunate for me. So we add that on as well, get a total that pen is 0 0.290 inches wide. So again, in reading, start by zeroing the measurement, open it up to fit the piece in, snug it to the piece, read the tenths, and then on the scale past the tenths, read the 0 0.025, 25 one thousandths of an inch. Because I can see the 0 0.025, the 0 0.05, and the 0 0.075, I've got to count the 0 0.075, that's the last notch that I see. Then, read this side of the dial, and see which line meets or comes closest to and in fact, it's another 15 one thousandths of an inch. Add them all up, and there's the width of my pen.